batten diseases symptoms and treatment the contains of batten diseases airborne batten diseases food borne batten diseases and water borne batten diseases what is batten disease bacteria is a unicellular prokaryote that cause disease called pathogen disease mechanisms are first some bacteria destroy living cells and tissues of the infected organisms directly and or provoking response from immune system and other bacteria release toxins called poisons that interfere with the normal activity of host these all are the airborne bacterial diseases streptococcal diseases diphtheria produces many vocal infections hemophilus influenza infections tuberculosis pneumococcal pneumonia primary atypical pneumonia and legionellosis streptococcal disease caused by streptococcus pyogenes the symptoms are pharyngitis septicemia internal infections scarlet fever immune related complications such as rheumatic fever glomerulonephritis diphtheria caused by cornea bacteria and diphtheri the symptoms are upper respiratory infection pseudo membrane formation may spread into blood stream leads to cardiovascular damage vaccination with diphtheria toxoid vaccine may prevent human from cornea bacterium diphtheri pertussis is also called as whooping cough caused by bordetella pertussis the symptoms are upper respiratory tract infection may be severe in children and elderly difficulty breathing usually does not spread into blood stream meningococcal infections caused by neisseria meningitis the symptoms are upper respiratory tract symptoms septicemia meningitis headache and stiff neck listlessness dizziness disorientation seizures coma and may leads to death hemophilus influenzae infections caused by hemophilus influenzae the symptoms are upper respiratory tract symptoms rhinitis sinusitis otitis media epiglottitis septicemia and meningitis another airborne disease tuberculosis caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis the symptoms are lung infection destruction of alveoli cough and sputum formation tubercle formation may remain dormant for years and then become active again may spread to other areas of body called miliary tuberculosis pneumococcal pneumonia caused by streptococcus pneumoniae the symptoms are secondary bacterial pneumonia lower respiratory tract infection pneumonia fluid build up in lung primary atypical pneumonia caused by mycoplasma pneumoniae may be opportunistic frequently causes mild cases of primary pneumonia secondary pneumonia in immunocompromised patients legionellosis caused by legionella pneumophila symptom is mild to moderate pneumonia so this all we have seen about airborne diseases the next one is food borne and water borne bacterial diseases food borne intoxications versus infections botulism cephalococcal food poisoning clostridium food poisoning typhoid fever salmonellosis shigellosis cholera diseases associated with ischemia coli campylobacteriosis and helicobacteriosis food borne intoxications versus infections food borne intoxications caused by exotoxins secreted by bacteria in contaminated food and food borne infections caused by the ingestion of live bacteria that colonize the digestive tract the another food borne disease botulism caused by clostridium botulinum transmitted by contaminated food and other mechanisms of transmissions food botulism animal botulism 
and infant bodily zoo. The Staphylococcal food poisoning caused by Staphylococcus aureus causes abdominal pain, nausea, diarrhea and for a few hours the diarrhea will be there. Clostridial food poisoning caused by Clostridium parfingens. It is similar to Staphylococcal food poisoning. Typhoid fever caused by Salmonella typhi. The symptoms are invades intestinal epithelial tissue, ulceration, bloody stools but little diarrhea, blood invasion, fever, delirium, blood vessel hemorrhaging, rose colored spots on the abdomen, bowel, perforation, gallbladder infection. Salmonellosis caused by different species of Salmonella, Salmonella enteritis, Salmonella gallinarum, Salmonella typhimurum. Symptoms are gastroenteritis, cramps, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Shigellosis caused by Shigella sonni, Shigella dysentery, Shigella flexneri, Shigella boidi. And the symptoms are gastroenteritis, often with watery diarrhea, sometimes with bloody stools, dysentery, cholera caused by Vibrio cholerae. The symptoms are gastroenteritis with extensive severe diarrhea, rice water stools, dehydration, and death. Disease associated with Ischia coli caused by Ischia coli is also called as infantile diarrhea, traveler's diarrhea, hemorrhagic E. coli disease. Kidney damage in children may observe. Campylobacteriosis and Helicobacteriosis caused by Helicobacter pylori. The major symptom is stomach irritation and ulcers. How to prevent bacterial disease? Many bacterial diseases can be prevented by stimulating body's immune system with vaccines. A vaccine is a preparation of weakened or killed pathogens or inactivated toxins. These are the examples of vaccines, PCG vaccine for tuberculosis, DPT for diphtheria, pertussis and tetanus, and HIV is for hemophilus influenza infections. The treatment on bacterial diseases, antibiotics, these are the chemicals that interfere with cellular processes of bacteria. Examples, aminoglycosides, cephalosporins, macrolide, penicillin, quinolone, sulfonamides and tetracycline and some are the other antibiotics used in the treatment of various bacterial diseases. Aminoglycosides act by inhibiting bacterial protein synthesis. They are used as a drops for some ear or eye infections but cause problems with the kidney or with hearing. And these all are the marketed preparations of aminoglycosides. The next one is cephalosporins antibiotics. These are broad, broad spectrum antibiotics to treat infections such as septicemia, pneumonia, meningitis, biliary tract infections, periotonitis, and urinary tract infections. And these all are the marketed preparations of cephalosporins. Macrolide antibiotics, an antibacterial spectrum that is similar but not identical to that of penicillin. So, uh, often used for people with penicillin allergy. To treat penicillin resistance strains of bacteria, useful for treating lungs and chest infections, used for skin infections, and some sexually transmitted infections. These all are the marketed preparations of macrolide antibiotics. Penicillin antibiotics, broad spectrum antibiotics to treat infections such as respiratory tract infections, skin infections, urinary tract infections. Fluclosacillin is reserved for treating bacteria that are resistant to other penicillins and these all are the marketed preparations. Quinolones antibiotics, broad spectrum antibiotics used to treat wide range of infections, UTI and respiratory infections and these are the marketed preparations of quinolones. The next sulfonamide antibiotics, these are not used nowadays due to bacterial resistance and these are the marketed preparations of bacteria. Tetracycline antibiotics. Uh, used to treat wide range of other bacterial infections including respiratory and genital infections and these are the market preparations. And these all are the other antibiotics used in the treatment of bacterial disease. Thank you.